What's up guys and girls, Lazy Dragon here, and today we're playing Toy Soldiers War Chest. Because if all of that realistic war is just a bit too depressing for you, you can now play it in toy form. Yay! So, uh, the Toy Soldiers level that we're playing is called Imperial Railroad and has you playing as Kaiser Wilhelm's army. And I didn't actually intend for this to happen, but we've gone from Valiant Hearts to Toy Soldiers, and we're still in the First World War. Yeah, that was a bit of an oversight on my part. But I think the real problem here is who the hell is playing with toys designed after the German leader from the First World War? That's just a bit weird. You don't see people running around going, Oh, look at me, I've got G.I. Joe, I've got He-Man. Oh, I've got Kaiser Wilhelm's Jeep that he used at the Battle of the Somme. He got stuck in some mud and he had to go home wearing only one shoe. And once again, my impressions are top-notch. Considering I forgot to even do a German accent for that last one. But one thing that's different about this game, compared to other sort of World War One games, or games with World War One people in it, is that A, it's a tower defence game, like uh, the one with the monkeys that shoot at balloons, I can't actually think of any tower defence games at the moment, and B, you can actually get involved and drive the vehicles around, which is excellent in case you're, you know, get bored really easily. Words are not coming to me today. I don't know why. See, we, we can build our little towers up. And then they all come rushing towards us like lambs to the slaughter. And I'm buying a ton of upgrades because I tried this mission earlier and I failed abysmally. See? You can jump in and take control of your little towers with your weird German playsets. Is this what they had to play with in Germany? Everyone else is running around with Power Rangers toys and they have to recreate the First World War. Still, you know, it could be worse. We could be having to use that train. He doesn't even have a gun. Then again, we've only got one gun ourselves at the moment. Because we're not very good at winning fights. Don't let anyone else know that. Because everyone on YouTube is supposed to be a master at winning games. And we're not very good. Shh. Look at all the tiny little people. running headlong into our bullets, which I suppose could be some sort of big bold statement about the futility of the First World War, where men who had not learnt new tactics since the dawn of mechanised warfare were just fed into the, the blender of war. Or on the other hand, it could just be the game's really lazy and can't be bothered to make people move in a different direction. You know, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Futility argument. <laughs> Can I drive the tank again yet? No. Well, I like the tank. The tank's the only thing here that's any good for me. Everything, nothing else can move. It just sits here. And for those of you wondering, yes, we're just buying a ton of upgrades, so there's nothing else we can do at the moment apart from wait for the tank to come back. Tank's back, yay, off we go. We're just sending soldiers flying at the moment, I think those are our guys. What the hell is that guy doing with his arms? You having a little dance off there, mate? Supposed to be trying to fight the evil German army, because... They're the bad Germans and we're the good Germans? Yeah. Didn't plan this one through. There's an army where you play as 
giant pink unicorns, but no, I decided to play as the Germans, so we could have Germans fighting Germans and really confuse the shit out of the video. If you do get confused, just remember that we're the ones that aren't moving very much. There's also an awful lot of cigars for a children's playset. I mean, maybe their father is one of the stars of Mad Men. But I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's another dozen or so in there. You've got a couple over here. How many cigars do these children need? This is just. Bizarre. Children smoking cigars. Is that a First World War thing? I've never come across that. Children smoking cigars. One problem with this game is... Uh, well, you can probably hear it. If you do take control of the turrets, you just get the same sound playing over and over again. It's like this really... What, what, it's a machine gun. It's a rather irritating noise. It's kind of like having to, having to listen to my videos. Just an irritating noise over and over and over again. Like, I, we're selling that turret just for sheer annoyance. And then we'll play with this turret instead. You thought the noise was gone, but the noise isn't gone. The noise is only waiting waiting until you think you're safe and then BAM! Here it comes with a vengeance. Kind of like the Germans after the First World War! Ha ha ha! Political commentary as of 70 years ago. You think they're gone and then back they come with a vengeance. Can we use our tank again please? No. Oh. They've got giant wheels that are shooting at us. Who designed that? That does not look practical in any way, but they're currently kicking my ass, so what the hell do I know? No, they're going to get into our toy box. If they get in our toy box, we lose. Stop it. Stop it. No. Come on, there's one left. You can do it. You messed it up. Now we've got 97 health instead of 100. I'm disappointed. Both in myself and in my turret troop things. Honestly, 97. That'll be good. We go to report to German High Command. So, how did you do out in the field? Oh, mein Kaiser. We did very well, except for one piece of farming equipment which got past us. And I need to stop doing accents in videos. At least until I improve at doing accents in videos. Okay, I can't do accents and I can't drive tanks. That's two things we've learnt that I can't do today. So to cheer ourselves up, we're going to build a really big gun. Because if you've got any problems in your life, they can be solved by just building a bigger gun. And this one's even called Bertha. So you can take her to dinner with your parents. Are you seeing anyone nice? Oh yes, yeah, she's called Bertha. And she fires one round a minute. By all looks of things. Jesus, how long does it take you to reload? You missed! There were a dozen guys there, and you missed half of them. Bertha, I am disappointed. To be fair, I should probably be talking through the upgrades and what we're doing to make our team better and ready to face the enemies. Or, at the same time, I could keep talking about romancing a gun named Bertha. Yeah, I know what I'm going to be doing. 
Um, where should we put this one? Can we hit it over there? Let's try it. Gun cam. Gun cam broke. Just once more. Firing the cannon. There we go. Now we get a perfect look at not being able to hit the enemies. Because we suck at this game. I should have picked the team that had giant purple unicorns. Should have picked the toys that do that. But no, we had to be the historian and pick the German army. Next, honestly, if we play this again, we're just going for giant pink rainbow unicorn team. Super pink rainbow unicorn team thunder go. Maybe that's what German children had to watch, like Kaiser Wilhelm's Fun Hour, whilst we're watching Giant Pink Eat Rainbow Unicorn Happy Time. And they're watching Kaiser Wilhelm save the day. Maybe it's like a German version of Captain Planet. Tanks, aircraft, infantry, by your powers combined, I am Kaiser Wilhelm. As uh, Wilhelm, du, du, du. I'd watch that show. I'd make that show. Kaiser Wilhelm, super happy fun hour. And we're still losing. We're to farming equipment. Well, I say farming equipment. It, I'm not exactly sure what they could farm with that, because it looks like the front end of a combine harvester, except with more guns. Do you hear the air raid siren? Can you guess what's coming? I'll give you a hint, it's not a submarine. I mean, you don't actually get to see the planes on this level, you see their shadows. Because that's what every kid wants to play with, shadows. Oh no, we got a glimpse of a wing there. An entire glimpse. Like, you must be glad you came to watch this video today. You got a whole glimpse of something. So basically all I'm doing at the moment is putting sandbags on all of the turrets. Because otherwise they die pretty much immediately. Although that does leave me with a slight problem that I am now out of money. Come on, Bertha. Work what you got. Show us what your mother gave you. Hopefully she gave you a couple of thousand quid, because we are very low on money right now. Come on. We want to do the awesome bang kapow fighting of the First World War, not the Oh no, we've run out of resources and now our, oh, now our financial situation has gone down the toilet part of the world of the First World War. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, economics. That's a good video material right there. Economics of the First World War. Jesus Christ. There's a reason why you've only got nine subscribers. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should market ourselves as a as a niche Let's Play channel for people interested in economic history. Yeah, that'll, that'll draw in the viewers. Hey community, today we're going to be learning about the economics of Napoleon. I can't fight. Oh, there's the enemy. And they've got a tank as well. That's cheating. I'm the only one who's supposed to have tanks. Come on, tank. Let's go tank it up with them. These German tanks aren't very good. That was about four hits and they exploded. They didn't even try to shoot at me. His friends figured it out. And... No, he, either he's broken my wheels or I'm stuck. Great. The rocks are a greater danger to me than the Germans are. Oh, 
Where are you going, pal? No, you're not coming through here. This is for good Germans. You're a you're a nasty German. Let's see if we can shoot that turret from all the way back here. Well, what do you know? Maybe we are good at using tanks. And maybe people will want to watch videos about economic history as told through the style of Let's Plays. We can dream. Can we snipe them? No, we can't snipe the other turret from over the hill. Because that's the last bad turret, because it's got a giant star over it. Giant star, of course, being symbolic of the First World War. Maybe. Is that a bottle of whiskey? Or like a hip flask type thing? That looks like a hip... What sort of broken home are these kids living in where they're having to play with cigars and hip flasks with World War I toys? I just sold all of my turrets there. Because as you can see, there are a lot of very angry planes flying overhead. But they all fly in a straight line. So everything on this side won't get hit. Uh, no, I, okay, I was wrong. There are planes on this side as well. It turns out I'm just stupid. So now we build up a ton of turrets again, and they'll probably get blown up before too long. Still, Bertha's proving her worth. You know, she, she's a woman you can take home. Absolutely lovely. And then we just go around and we build sandbags again. Lots and lots of sandbags. Oh, and we built a blimp as well. Because why not? I'm not entirely sure how that blimp is staying upright. I mean, these are supposed to be children's toys. I can understand, like, little hand-painted missile... No, mortars and hand-painted sort of artillery cannons. No idea how that blimp's remaining up there, though. Like. Yeah, well, suspension of disbelief. If we can have Kaiser Wilhelm as Captain Planet, we can have a blimp that stays in mid-air for no reason. Come on, turrets, shoot all of them. Shoot the little soldiers! Make them forget their boyhood memories of eating schnitzel and eating wieners. Bratwurst, that's what German sausages are called, not wieners. Oh, if you want something done right, you'll do it yourself. Come on. Into the food blender you go, little boys. We leveled up. Woo! Not too sure what we're going to do with that in the middle of the battle, but hooray nonetheless. Maybe now we can afford toys from the Second World War. Who wants to play with General Rommel's playset? Oh, I'm, honestly, I'm just amusing myself right now. Stop running over my turret, you asses. I need those to destroy things. You are not very helpful. We successfully stopped them. It's only that one tack or that one piece of farming equipment earlier that made it through. It's still on 97. The Kaiser will be pleased with our efforts. What on earth are you? The K Wagon. Oh god. Bertha! Turret lost. We, we haven't even started and we're losing turrets. Yeah. Somebody stop it. If the Germans had this in the First World War, I think they would have won. It's, it's just a giant wagon of death. It moves very slowly, though. So that's something. It can prolong our suffering. We get a nice slow death. Oh, that bit in Saving Private Ryan, where he's, where he's in the building and there's the knife. And 
I'm talking about wars again. I need to stop being depressed and talk about something happy. It's almost Christmas. Talk about reindeer and geese or something. What's the bird? Robins. Robins are the bird, not geese. We're doing quite a good job, actually. It's already on fire. That's normally a good sign when fighting bosses. Is it on fire? Yes. Is it supposed to be? No. Marvellous, you're making progress. Although it's got three stages. And I'm guessing that stage three isn't even its final form. I've got no idea what's happening on the rest of the battlefield. Let's take a quick look. The rest of the battlefield is getting destroyed by the turret. Or the wagon thing. Our turrets are being destroyed by the wagon. That's it, that's a sentence of what I was trying to say. Let's go for shell cam on this one. Let's see exactly what we're hitting. Told you, wasn't even its final form. Now it's just wiping out our turrets like there's no tomorrow. And it's sped up. Sonic the German wagon. Gotta go fast. Gotta stop destroying... All of my turrets are destroyed. Apart from Big Bertha. Come on, Bertha. Please, you can do this. We're so close. It's the final wave. One more shot and you can destroy Sonic the wagon. We blew it up. We and everything else died. Hooray for Phantom Menace Syndrome. Victory! Yay! Kaiser Wilhelm did his job and he did it well. Ah, there we go. Marvellous. We are the heroes that our toy box needed, but not the ones it deserved. Because it probably deserved better than someone who fought in the First World War because they were all a bunch of wankers. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching this incredibly bizarre episode of Lazy Dragon Does Videos and Let's Play. I, it's not a series. It's, I make weird videos and be weird in them. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, toss us a like or subscribe if you want to be weird with us. But if you don't feel like doing that, I hope to see you around. And until next time, farewell everyone.